Hey, yo, hey, yo, this is the Show Light TV, and today we have a special guest. Go ahead and introduce yourself. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lolo. You know what's up? Stay tuned for another banger. <laughs> hey, yo, yo, man. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. Uh, no problem at all. No problem at all. How are you doing today? I'm good. Chill, you know. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> so let's, let's dig right into it. I always love to do this. Um, what was your upbringing like? Who are you, and where were you born and raised? Um, I'm a Mexican Latina, you know, type shit. Um, uh, I was born out in California, Los Angeles, and then I moved to West Hollywood and then came out here in Utah when I was 12. Mm, yes, okay, we okay. out here. Okay, okay, West Hollywood, huh? All right, all right. So, um, I always like to kind of dig with the, with the parents. Okay. Um, how was your parents' uh, impact on your life? Um, my dad didn't do much, to be honest, like, not much, but my mom, she was... She's very independent, so that's what I learned more about her. I love my mom. She's she's crazy. I don't, we bump heads here and there, but I don't know. She's always told me how to do good, um, what's right and wrong and stuff like that. But, yeah, yeah. she knows it. Yeah. So, so what was some advice that she gave you that you, you hold on to to this day? Do not ever get pregnant with the bum ever again. Second, <laughs> um, be smart about your choices. And then think before you speak, because sometimes I don't. I just be talking out of my ass, you know? Understandable. Yeah. Understandable. Oh, y'all do that, you know. Yeah. But, uh, okay, so how was your situation growing up? You know, was there, like, you know, fun times, the hard times? How was it? Um, I could, um, when I was small, pretty much I had a fun time. That's when life was easier for me. But once we got into junior high, that's when shit was escalating, because I had my parents, like, separating, and things was, like, really bad. And then high school, I hated junior high and high school, like, nah. And then growing up, like, moving back and forth was not it either. Like, I would meet people, and then, like, after that, you just don't know about them after that, you know? No, yeah. No, I completely understand. I completely understand. So, what was the feeling of growing up, and what do you remember the most from your childhood? From my childhood, honestly, is with my grandma, honestly. My OG grandma, she's, I always, um, I don't know, we was always at the store. We'd always mob it everywhere, you know? She was always there type shit um yeah i mean i had great times with my grandma when my mom was not around too so yeah yeah, yeah. so were you like a what kind of kid were you i was a crazy one like yeah. i always like to do dangerous things mm -hmm. yeah okay okay so like a were you like the tomboy on the block yeah yeah that was kind of me the girl that was climbing the trees and everything yeah, yeah. that's what's up man <laughs> We, we we fell in those are the ones we fell in love with all the, all, all the time, you know. <laughs> like trying to climb trees and stuff. All right, so let's 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 get uh let's get more into it. Uh, how were you in high school? In high school, um, I was a bad kid, I guess, because I was just dealing with police, always getting suspended. I was, I mean, I had good grades, but I just was had a bad behavior. I was weird mm -hmm. and stuff. Um, I was always fighting. Yeah, yeah but. High school, I didn't like it, honestly. I understand, I understand. So, like, when I when I usually ask the, the high school question is because I know that's your transition to, like, who you're going to be for the rest of your life. Yeah. You know, so, like, what was the feel? What were you look like? W were you ready for, you know? No, life? I was honestly not ready to be an adult, honestly. Like, I, like I grew up with my parents, you know, I was always relying on them, you know, type shit. So, like, being an adult and, like, taking care of myself, like, I knew I wasn't ready. But, I mean, shit, I took it, you know. I had my own place when I was 18, but shit got sideways and I yeah. had to lose it. So, yeah. Yeah. It was, it's kind of hard until this day, you know, but. Mm -hmm. I understand, I understand. So, what was the vibe for you? What kind of music did you listen to at that time? Um, Back in the days, music was lit. Like, um, hip-hop, R&B, and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Like, shit, music was back then, like, different. Yes, Than it, really it is was. nowadays, like. I don't know, music that back then, it was like lit, you know. But I listened to more rap and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, and then Daddy um, Post Malone, too. He's, oh, he's so fine. <laughs> Shout out Post, man. Shout out Post. Yeah. So, like, what artist was popping at your time? Soldier Boy. Soldier? Yeah, Soldier okay. Akon. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Drake was all right. Always rapping about Nicki Minaj, I swear. Okay, that was the Nicki Minaj he was in love with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Drake too, but, and Nicki too. Okay, all right, all right. So, did you do any sports? Were, were any? What was your curricular activities in high school? Um, in high school, um, mostly it was boxing, and mm. then I did kickboxing after, and then soccer was another one. Mm. That's 
that's about it. I really, I was trying to do, do uh, volleyball and basketball, but nah, that was too much. So, your career was always your calling. Mm -hmm. That's dope. That's dope. Um, who can you say was your inspiration at those times? Those times? Yeah. Actually, my grandma. Yeah. Just the way she was. I mean, me and her are kind of like the same person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I always say my grandma. That's yeah. what's up. That's what's up. And did you have any um, mainstream inspiration, celebrity inspiration that you kind of looked at? Like, I want to be like her or I want to be like... I want to be like Cardi B. I want her body. I want to be like her, you know. She's she's a baddie, you know. And I want to be like her. <laughs> Not giving a fuck. That's right. Shout out Cardi B, man. Yeah, she cold, man. For real, for real. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, so let's get into your career, your your, your passion. Um, boxing. Yeah. One of the greatest sports... Of America. Um, why was boxing a choice to you? Because uh, boxing was a choice for me because I like fighting. Yes. I was always like down and fight bitches. So I was like ready to do, I don't know, boxing was just something like I just grew up as punching. Like I said, I was always like bullying people, you know. I got bullied back too. And like I was like, all right, then let's go at it. Then you're like, you know, even dudes, yeah. me acting like a hard ass and stuff. Yeah. And then I kind of grew up with around dudes. So it's like I kind of got into that and yeah. stuff and i would always tackle my twin cousins and yeah wow, so it was pretty crazy so it was more just like the environment kind of pushed you into it huh? yeah that is crazy that's crazy because I, I could see like the environment pushes you towards music sports but for boxing yeah, you know that's that's, that's a cold way to go so when did you start i started when i was six years old i started with kickboxing at first and it was that i love kickboxing okay then i went out to mayweather's uh boxing club really and um in california and i was there doing boxing for five years and then i went to all pro boxing club okay. out in out los angeles okay and that's when i became pro and stuff i'm not that pro but mm -hmm. i can get my ass beat, but yeah yeah and that's when i continue doing so how was that experience out there? Like, it was pretty cool. Like I met a lot of like different coaches that I did. Canelo was like met Canelo, met a lot of bo my famous boxers and stuff. It was pretty cool. And then when you get a rack from fighting, that shit was dope. I was like, I want to get into that, you know? Like, right. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty dope. So, so you say you went to the Mayweather's training camp. Yeah. Did you get a chance to uh, see him or talk to him or anything like that? No, at that time I couldn't. And plus, at that time I didn't really know him as much, so. Yeah, I wanted to see Canelo more. Right. He's a big champion out there. At the time? That was dope. Yeah. That was dope. So, um, how hard was it um, the first few weeks of training to really kind of, like, get used to this kind of stuff? Um, at first, it was pretty hard. Like, I was so sorry, and I wanted to give up. Like, I was not. And then I used to smoke weed all the time, so that was another thing that slowed me down. I was like, nah, I'm good. I'll focus, focus on it later. Yeah. Later and stuff. Until my coach literally was like, either you're in this or you're out. You can't. Do one room or the other, right? Know? So I had to choose one of it, and I chose weed. So mm -hmm. I went that <laughs> side, that it should get me nowhere. <laughs> and yeah, I understand that. I understand that. Um, so like, what was the first things that they kind of like got you doing when you started training? When I first started training, is uh, they just put me in with a, with the pro one, and they just wanted to see how my bo blocking was, um, how my hand moves, how I move my legs and stuff. Um, my uppercut and like things like what I basically kind of knew mm -hmm. and stuff. Um, I was ass. I was really ass. Like, ass like that. Yeah. yeah, I was just like nah. So I got to He show, showed me what I would needed to work on and stuff. And it was, I just continued just working on that. Yeah. So do you know your as of right now? Do you know your strengths and weaknesses? I know you don't want to tell like just in case you know your opponent or whatever. My but, strengths, yeah. like, um, I don't. Um, my strengths is, I don't know, just, <laughs> <laughs> um, one of my weaknesses is, it comes, can I include my baby boy? Like, I don't know, it's like, <laughs> no, that's probably not. No, in the ring. In the ring? Yeah. Oh, my weaknesses? Yes. Oh my gosh, when they hit me in the, in the stomach. Yeah, in the stomach or, uh, mostly my face wise, that's what my strong thing is I can punch you right in. I'm, I'm fast out of it. That's oh, one of my strongest. Okay. My weakness is more they hit me on the lower body. Oh, you don't like to be hitting the stomach and all that no. shit? No. Mm, I understand. Okay, so you got speed in them hands. Yeah. Oh, so you slap a bitch real quick, huh? Yeah. yeah say less, say I got to study the person first. I'm like, let's see your moves. Oh, okay. I'm going to show you what's up. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So, um, 
what is the what is the feeling of being in the gym doing what you love like how's that feeling to you honestly that's like my second home like it releases i release a lot of my anger there mm -hmm. um i hold a lot of grudges and stuff so when i'm at the gym like i go hard and so i'm like i gotta keep pushing then i want a good body so it's like you know so yeah. that's basically what my i like the gym yeah. i love the gym yeah i understand that well were, did you like have to like kind of learn to really kind of get in the gym and, and, and find that that mode or was it just natural um it was kind of natural since i've been in boxing since i was six so it was like kind of just boom back in just you know? back in it huh? yeah that's what's up so um what's your what's your win and loss total my win and loss mm -hmm. uh i've been losing a, uh i don't remember but my last one was like three years ago so i don't remember <laughs> <laughs> but i lost that's all i know <laughs> It's okay. Did you fight? Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah. That Korean girl is quick as hell. Oh. It's because she knew martial arts. So I was like, dang, girl, chill. So what kind of opponents? That's that's a really good thing. Like, what kind of opponents have you had to fight before? Mm, mostly, oh, damn, I don't remember. <laughs> mostly, I don't know, like, a, they go by weight and everything. So it's like a, someone that's like at least 10 more than me and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they go by weight, so it's yes. Okay, okay. All right. So, uh, what was the most difficult thing about transitioning into boxing? Mm, honestly, I was scared to get knocked out. That was most of the things I was scared of getting knocked out and stuff. Mm. So I'm like, Ugh, like, and then there was like a famous boxer that got hit hit in the back of the head. That's a lot of people that love to do that. Get just throw punches and stuff. Mm. I didn't want to get like just. You know, get hit in the back of the head. And yeah. Knock. Yeah. So yeah. it was just, it was scary, but. So it's just like really just taking a punch, huh? Yeah, yeah. basically. I mean, but shit. I the mean, way, it was part of boxing, you know? Uh, yeah, but the way that you lived already, you know, I know you kind of used to it already, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, okay. Um, what's your end goal with boxing? My end goal is becoming a pro boxer. Like, oh, I forgot her name, but I'm trying to be like this one pro, uh, pro. I'm trying to be like Canelo. I should say him. Trying to be butt bro like him and stuff. Trying to get that, um, my golden gloves and yeah, trying to see where I can get to it. Okay, all right, that's dope. That's dope. And so I know that you do security also, right? Yeah, I'm a private security guard. Yeah. So how how's that like? Um, it's pretty interesting. Like the same thing. I mean, I work at a club and there's dumb people that like to get intoxicated and act hard and stuff. You know, I gotta tackle and. Uh, it's just crazy out there. Really? So, but I also carry a taser, and I'm armed as well. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, what 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 crazy situation have you seen or you've experienced in the club? Uh, honestly, one of my craziest one is when I walked in the women's bathroom and they were fucking in there, bro. What? <laughs> yeah, they was going hard, man. That was one thing I did not. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> that's one thing crazy in there, bro. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's crazy. Well, you know, you know how you hit how it is in the club. You know, some people just can't hold until they get home. So, yeah. you know. All right. So, um, about yourself, what is your outlet, and how do you deal with stress and anger in life? Um, stress and anger. Um, I do. I hold it in sometimes. Um, it just depends on the situation. Yeah, I, I mean, sometimes I get a when I'm so mad, I get to like where I'm crying, but like you know, you're just so mad, you just let out tears. Mm. That's mostly how I am. But I go like to boxing and let it out of my punching bag, or just the gym wise and stuff, so, or take a run, whichever you know. Yeah. To so just. Uh, but it helps. My feelings, yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, what do you feel like you can do to achieve your dreams and your aspirations that you have in life? uh honestly put a lot of i had to, i have to let go a lot of things to like work harder for what for my dreams and stuff so yeah there's a lot of things that i need to work on. <laughs> if you can be oh i love this um if you can be honest with yourself about yourself what would you say that is something that you need to change my attitude Mm -hmm. That's one thing I need to change is my attitude and the my I guess you can say my tone because a lot of people think I'm aggressive when I talk to them, but I sh that's just how I am. Like you know, I'm just straightforward. Yeah, understandable. Type shit. understandable. Understandable. All right. Um, let's get into relationships. <laughs> let's talk about it. Let's talk about <laughs> it. Um, 
how do you deal with relationships nowadays in this terrible dating pool that we have? Shit, I mean, honestly, I haven't been in a relationship for two years. The last relationship, it was pretty ass. It was an eight-year relationship, and um, I feel like that was just a lesson for me, honestly. It just was stuck on the same dude and everything. I didn't get chances to know different guys, you know. I was always stuck on one, you know. But, yeah, like, it just... Yeah, I say keep your options open, man, because there's a lot of fine ass dudes out there, man. Understandable. Did you do you feel like you missed a lot of red flags that you should have seen? Yes, mostly communication was one. I did not know how to communicate, uh-huh. nor him. So okay, it was so so. You you're saying that it was a two way street thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. What do you feel like you should have? Or what do you feel like you should do to kind of change that communication problem? Honestly, communicate more, and honestly, like, if there's something that bugs me or is, like, a red flag or some shit, like, you know, communicate with him and stuff, so just talk it down. No yelling and no throwing hands, because that's what I, that's the first thing I go for. Right. But, honestly, just communicate with it calmly. I understand. I understand. So, in life, we meet people, you know, and, you know, they send us down these roads and everything like that. How do you keep yourself grounded when meeting these men or meeting your homegirls or whatever like that you know meeting men uh honestly it's just the way you it's the way your like energy is like whatever energy i reflect it'll back on you females no that's a no that's a red no yeah i don't know females are weird i understand yeah jealousy mm, yeah i guess you could say that yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Girls are insecure sometimes, so I'm like, mm. understandable, understandable. Especially when you know you're around they dudes or something like that. You know, I know they would. If be. you the homegirl, what's the issue? I mean, I get it. Like, I get it. You, you don't trust females, but <laughs> it's, they they insecure. You. Know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, what is some advice that you would give to a guy that wanted to say, speak, talk to you? Hey, sexy lady. Oh, what's up, baby? What you want? <laughs> <laughs> she, I don't. I just get to the point like you want to tap in or what's up? Right. Just, <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's it's best to be straightforward nowadays. Yeah, this dude's like, let's take the time to talk, and I'm like, no, dude, let's just go to that that side and let's start the session or whatever you want to do, bro. <laughs> I love you here. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. 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 So what are <laughs> what are some dating tips that you would give to um, young men nowadays that want to find someone right? Bro, if you is not ready to have sex, bro, wrap it up, bro. Dead ass is literally. I'm gonna tell y'all. And females, please find someone your damn age, bro. These men out here are pedophiles because they just be going for youngins, man. It's all bad. Yeah, and if you're not old enough, ask your mom for real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, for real. I understand. So, with that, um, <laughs> brain freeze. Uh, guys just need to just kind of be direct nowadays and just be able to kind of take. Yeah. Oh, no, I want to be in control sometimes, you know? No. Okay. Yeah, okay. sometimes. Okay, okay. All right. All right. Well, take <laughs> notes, gentlemen. <laughs> take notes on Show Light TV. Um, okay, so let's ask, let's get into some media questions real quick because like a lot of things have been going on lately okay um how do you feel about the female wave of artists that has been coming in you know the sexy reds and all that honestly i feel like them females like respectively they got some good music but i feel like they just be rapping about like men and like sex and then, like ass and, like it's just not like back in the day where they used to rap about different things about life or what they went through you know type shit and stuff they just need to chill on that like go rap about some money you know go rap it with something happened you did yesterday or something you know like i don't know just different because a lot of females right now like and we need more fe- females rappers because there's a bunch of men and i don't know i feel like they're just rapping the same thing same shit yeah yeah, yeah. no and that's the <clears throat> that's the problem that we have now that I, I i talk to a lot of artists about is kind of the growth of hip-hop you know, and where it's going in the next five years, you know, yeah. um, which I, I get a lot of different answers. You know, some people say it's pop. Some people say it's more gangster music. You know what I'm saying? So from your point of view, uh, where do you feel like hip hop is going? Mm, I don't, I'm going to be honest. It's not going nowhere. It's really not going nowhere. Okay. Yeah, I understand that. It's just what the same thing, huh? It's always the same thing. Like... 
like the ki- the ki- the whatever Drake and uh what's Kendrick. Other? Kendrick. Yeah, Kendrick. Yeah, dude, like that. Like, bro, you really rapping about some other dude? Like, you dropped a beef, bro. Like, or handed like a man, man, bro. But they pussies, or whatever. That's so. true. So you haven't you haven't checked out any of the the disc records or anything? No, nah, I haven't. Cause I was like, what the fuck am I gonna hear about their bullshit that they got going on? It's like, I mean. Shit, if that's how you know how to release it, then go ahead, bro. That's true. I I I really feel like they dropping disc records and then calling each other, and okay. oh yeah, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know, like I feel like it's really just for the hip hop community, yeah. you know. Um, so is there anyone that you want to give a shout out to? I want to give a shout out to my homegirl Secret Destiny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We got Secret Destiny in the building. You know that shit. Yes. And then also want to give a shout out to Show Life TV for having me here today. Of course. Life. So Life, we in the building. <laughs> um, so is there, any, is there anything that, that is coming up that we need to be looking forward to? Um, if y'all go to All Pro Boxing, um, their website, there should be my tickets released for my next fight coming up. So look into that. Um, yeah, that's about it right now. Now if we come, we want to see some ass getting kicked. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, definitely. We'll see something. Going All right. On. That's, what That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Well, we have Lolo in the fucking building. Show Light TV. I want to thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. No problem at all. All right, y'all. Y'all know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe, and check out the Spotify. We up out of here. Peace. Peace.